comedy for Friday on 4. At 9, Cosby wrestles with his son's athletic genetics. You don't learn that. You're born with it. Ah, so you're saying that he inherited it. Absolutely. These things are known to skip a generation. And at 10... How do you plan on getting the bride and groom back together? I'm going to rely on my wits. Well, you're halfway there. You better believe it. If Carla and Eddie are to get to the altar before the year 2042, Sam will need all his powers of persuasion in Cheers. Cosby at 9 and Cheers at 10 this Friday on 4. Yeah, that's basically it. You got a problem with that? Channel 4 goes on red alert for the next 45 minutes. In the last of the series, who could possibly hold a candle to Miss Ruby Wax? Make a clear image of what you desire, and it will soon become reality. Five, four, three, two, one, now. Have you seen yourself in the mirror lately and thought, Oh, my God, it's Claire Rayner. <laughs> Have you opened your eyes in bed to find it's your husband doing it? <laughs> Is even your dog aboard with you? There's one last hope. Fantasy. What's yours? Do you have tiny green fairies dancing in your brain? Or do you get off on chickens in rubber raincoats pecking? <laughs> pecking at your bare chest? What are those intimate little pictures that ramble through your imagination when all the lights are out? What is it? <laughs> what is it, Norman? I've got something to say to you. What, Norman? What do you want to say? I just can't bring myself to say it. Norman, you've completely ruined my monologue. Just say it and get off, okay? I love you. <laughs> The way you curl your lips at me when you're angry. The way you jangle your earrings. All those things make me excited inside. My heart just glows with love for you. I'm in love with you, Ruby. Norman, I can't believe you're saying this. Norman, I'm sorry I've treated you like something icky on the bottom of my shoe all these weeks. Norman, when you moved into that caravan, I longed to be the Lucille Ball to your Desi Arnaz. <laughs> Whenever I clutch that microphone, Norman, I think of you. <laughs> Norman, I too love you. Not really physically. But there's something, Norman, something. Maybe it's that little bald patch or, or the way your eyes go dead and fish-like. <laughs> but there's something, Norman. There's something. Oh, Norman. <laughs> ah! I've had a nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> take you anywhere <laughs> except to a rubbish tip don't you play the innocent with me you animal <laughs> they dim the lights for one minute and you go wild doing bumpies on my legs that's what you'd like me to do in your dreams don't you even speak to me you sick pig anyway my first guest is here <laughs> 